I have to say that's a wet looking sky. Well, I've swapped two wheels for four tonight and we're off to the classic vehicle show at 2nd Presbyterian Church in Saintfield, County Down. Uh, the reason being obvious because it's just starting to rain. The forecast was terrible for tonight and I didn't want to get the bikes destroyed. So we'll go up to the show and see what's to be seen. Well, we've arrived. And uh, I'm glad I came in the car because it bucketed out of the heavens the whole way down the motorway. Well, it's only 25 to 7 and it's pitch black. Right. Let's make our way inside. Big G. Let's start here. The BSA. Never had That's a lovely Sherpa. And it's for sale. Hmm. Temptation's an awful thing. Better not. Well, the size of the wee tank, <laughs> half a gallon, two laps near Dunver. <laughs> right, the main arena. Let's have a look. See, there's a core crowd getting here. Which way will we go? It's a bit busy up that left hand side, so we'll go up the right. This is the older stuff here, it appears. 1960, what am I talking about? Old stuff, 1961. <laughs> that's, that's my age, flip me. Excuse me. Getting busy. I'm going to go into the wee room. The Italian room. We'll call this the Italian room. Oh. Okay. There's an old bike there. I recognise that. Change in there. So if you're taking the head off, you have to deal with that chain in some way. You have to strap it up and 
she put her kibbin on the cord and tied her up a wire, keep it on that chain where she's tied. Well, in here, there's, in between the cylinders, they're gear driven. So it means you can lift the head off, lift the barrel off, and see they made bolts, there's yet bolts going around. Unless you take the crash off there without splitting the engine glass. Right, we've left those pesky Italians behind. Let's have a look down this side. All right. NSR one two five. There's Anita's bike. We NC30, another of Anita's bikes. Weist, this is the same thing. It's actually only, it's only, it's only 1988. I'll have to give up to Gary. He's making it a year younger than it really is. So let's say the CX Turbo. What do you reckon about it then? The CX Turbo well, sir, is a very, very good bike. It's a very <laughs> quick bike. <laughs> Right, do you want to go out for a race sometime? No, not against the RC7. Michael CX650 Turbo, frame number 14. That's that's the one before 15 and after the one after 13. See, it's an RC16. <laughs> that's just a wee bit over half. Here's another one you might recognise. Ricky CBX, one of Ricky's CBX's. This is the special. Anybody want to take it for a drive here? It's just fired up. It'd be some session if, if you just started the engine. The other CBX is Michael. I was talking to. This is Michael's ProLink. This is 82. A lovely bike as well. Good bike touring thing. And then the the Z over here. This is one he, he, he bought years ago and gave it a complete nut and bolt rebuild. Everything. Including the acorn mirrors. CBR 1000 RR for sale. Be fancy one of those. Ah! Mr. Stafford has brought the CD 175 down. The wee front room, we're in the wee front room now. This is obviously the racing end of things. What have we got? RGB 500 Suzuki. That's nice of it. 
bit more modern. Jeff McMullen, RG500. Here's a great display here. We've got Owen McNally's leathers and helmet. Uh, who else have I got? I should know this. It's Jeremy McWilliams with the photograph of him lying on his ass in the grass. These ones here, these are Joey's leathers and helmet, and that's him wearing them there. That's Joey wearing those leathers. These all belong to Patsy McAlorn. He doesn't live that terribly far from me. This Sam Laffins stand. And this is a classic piano. Tinkle the old Avery's, eh? Another one of Michael's bikes. A new Hudson Auto Cycle, 1951. It's probably quicker than his 650 Turbo over there. <laughs> Only joking. I think we're going to call it a day. It's nine o'clock. The numbers are starting to dwindle a little bit. I'll go out and face the rain in the car. It'll not be too bad. So from Second Saintfield Presbyterian Church. Until the next time, all the best. <laughs>